In the past, we have analyzed ships that haven't made a ton of sense within the game Star Trek Online. We've looked at vessels ranging from the Constitution class, which would barely make sense as a background player behind the lines and should never fight on the front lines, to the NX class, which should be flown into the sun. However, there would be one vessel, one design that, while still excessively old, at least would have a background that makes a little bit of sense. The Malachowski class was in operation during the 2250s and would be known for its role during the Federation Klingon War between 2256 and 2257. While this class of vessel no doubt served in an innumerable amount of conflicts, the one that we can confirm is the Battle of the Binary Stars. We can also infer that the ship did stay relatively active throughout the 23rd century. However, moving into the 24th century, it would fall into obscurity and most likely be mothballed. As of the upload of this video, the ship would not be brought back into service until the 25th century. Unlike other designs, they admit that this one had the specific purpose of training new captains, though some of those idiots would decide to take the vessel into Borg and Undine infested territories and get themselves killed. You know, the new Star Trek Online idiocracy quest is pretty tight. Classified as the Malachowski Light Cruiser, the vessel would have all of its 23rd century technology gutted and replaced for 25th century equivalents. The ship comes with a standard Federation shield array, deflector array, impulse engines, and matter-antimatter warp core, as well as two device slots that allow both engineers and science officers to insert specialized experimental technology. The bridge has three specialized consoles, allowing for one tactical, one science, and one engineering officer, respectively. The vessel does have two weapons fore and one weapon aft. These include two phaser beams and one photon torpedo launcher. And because Discovery doesn't have any continuity issues like at all, I do have to point out that these phaser beam arrays are Discovery era phaser beams that fit in with Canon just perfectly. Of course, for those admirals who didn't care if they would win the various wars and save the Alpha Quadrant, the ship could be upgraded to an Admiralty version, which had the option of having up to six engineering consoles, four command consoles, or five science consoles, depending on the configuration. The Malachowski class has the same concerns that we see with the Constitution, though I do think it is somewhat saved by the fact that it is being admitted to being a training vessel. So ultimately, the vessel is used to train those who would have something more powerful in the future. But a lot of this is honestly just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below.